I'm not really excited about this game. 27 to three, but it was a lot of good for the defense and a lot of bad for the offense. Let's get to it. So let's just get straight to it. The bad, the offense. Lamar Jackson, 180 yards, two TDs. 37 attempts, 19 completion. One interception. That one interception really supposed to be about five, six interceptions. Just, oh man, he had a bad game. And I know Lamar likes to speak that truth. He had a bad game. It was not his game. Yeah, they scored 20 points for as an offense, but it, that score should have been way higher. Way higher. Bengals should have had more points than three because Lamar was literally giving them the ball. The only thing is they didn't catch the interceptions. He was, oh goodness, he was doing bad. Ingram, Mark Ingram, 57 yards rushing, but I, he's just losing that step. I don't see that burst, burst sprinkle here and there, every other place. But he had one play, He and the hole was there, but he closed so fast, he just like froze for a second. I'm like, if Gus was there, Gus would just hit it. Even if it closed, he gonna hit it, because he's gonna push it to get that first down. Cause I believe it was like a yard or two. I'm like, Gus would've got that easily. And Devery Duvernay, rushing, he had one carry, 42 yards. Receiving, he had two rece receptions, 17 yards. They only threw to him twice, and he caught both of them. Why? Why is he not out there? But you have a boy getting out there that's supposed to go on a go route, completely forgets his route in the middle. He's running. He's like, wait a minute. What did what, what route did Lamar give me? What route did Lamar give me? And then it wasted, wasted the first down, wasted the touchdown. I'm done with Boykin. But Gus Edwards, they need it. They need, I, don't, I don't understand why they don't want to do it a lot. And then JK, JK had one carry, but on that one carry, he got 34 yards. What is Giro up there thinking? You see in my, you go, you're gonna see in my highlight video when I release it after this. They showed an image up there and he was just sitting there like but then he looked at the TV to see what down it was. Then he went back and was like, oh, what, what do I call? Well, I don't I don't know what to call. Like, dude. And the thing about Giro. He's so inconsistent. He threw so much. And I'm like, dude, you a great running coordinator. You know how to scheme up them runs. Do that. If you want Lamar to throw, okay. But get them runs down with Gus and JK. Get them going. Then do that play action or that run option. Sprinkle a little run option here and there. But get that play action going. Cause run option that can get Lamar banged up a lot. But get that play action going. To me, that will spread everything open where we can see these deep throws and everything. But Lamar didn't have a good game. Marquise Hollywood Brown. 77 yards, one TD. He finally got that TD. It took a while, but he got it. 
well deserved well deserved and Mark Andrews he was doing this thing and it's like if you look at Hollywood got 10 targets 6 receptions Marquise I said Marquise Mark Andrews 9 targets and 6 uh, receptions 56 yards 1 TD but then you look at JK he wasn't out there a lot. Three for three, 21 yards. Cool. Devin DuVernay, two targets, two caught, 17 yards. Devin DuVernay should be way, way used, used a lot, way more. Miles Boykin, two targets, zero. He laid a goose egg. He's not on the same page. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to see he's not on the same page and to me that is slowing down this offense that can be so dynamic so dynamic with Deb, with two fast people with Hollywood Devin DuVernay and Mark Andrews and then you can throw some JK out there but JK is hard to bring down you will see that on that one carry he got he did for 34 yards. The dude's the truth. It's like, come on, man. They it got to they gotta start using these dudes. Debra Duvernay and James Pro say they gotta start using them. Gotta start using them. Willie Snead had three targets, zero. He got a goose egg. James got these hands. He can catch so good. Miles Boykin, he got all the hype. He has all the, I believe he ran like a 4-3 something. He's fast. But he's not showing anything. Debra DuVernay is showing it. Anytime Debra DuVernay gets a chance and the ball is coming his way or the ball is in his hands, he's making something happen. I haven't seen him go backwards. Come on. Let's get to the good stuff because that's rallying me up. PQ. My bad, I said it wrong. PQ. Beasting. Beasting. Led the team in tackles again. Had a forced fumble. Had a fumble recovery and ran it back for the touchdown. This dude was beasting. Everywhere, just everywhere on the field. So fast. Perel McPhee had a great game. He was playing like he was young again. Like the young Perel, when we when we drafted him, he was doing his thing. Chuck Clark was hitting that, hitting him. I almost said laying that wood. And I had to say pause on that, but you know what I'm saying. Marcus Peters and Marcus Peters, the MP Juice man, he got that interception. And usually, you know, I scream my pick, but that one was just. I think it surprised him because he just mind his business. It just oh, thank you. Like, anybody? This for me? This is for me? Like, easy. But he did his thing. And the best cornerback in the league, Marlon Humphrey. He forced another. And that forced fumble he did, that was a work of art right there. I don't even know how he did it. They showed the replay, but that was just beautiful, man. He got that force from, but and he got a sack, and Marcus Peters got a sack. But I ain't going to praise the sacks and all of that in the pass rush because the Bengals' offensive line is 100% trash. I thought it was going to be a close game, but Joe did not have a chance. because they, they just bringing everybody. Now, if we end up getting a, a, a bona fide pass rusher, that's, oh my goodness. Man. And Jalen Ferguson, he played. He played really good for us, a run stopper. He played really. He was sitting at the edge where they could not go past. They trying to go past him, and he was just holding them up, holding them up until everybody else come. That was great. Great, great play. Justin Tucker missed his first field goal, but it was a 61-yarder. It was just something. They were just trying something. 
But he's still the best kicker in the league. Best kicker really ever right now for his stats, I believe. But good game. Offense has a lot to improve on. I don't know what Lamar going to do, man. Lamar got a lot to work on. We just need that wide receiver help. Hopefully, they'll start giving Dev more chances. Kind of sit Boykin a game or two. Just see how it goes, you know. And put Dev and James out there. Because it ain't going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, everybody enjoyed the game. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. My reaction videos are coming after this. Everybody stay safe. And God bless.